talked a little bit about the different epitopes, the antibody structure, but I haven't really talked about what antibodies actually do. What is their function? They are very important for the adaptive immune response and actually other responses in the immune system as well. So what is their function? So number one, they can opsonize. We'll do this all in different colors. One, opsonization. Now, opsonization is just interactions with antibodies with the FC. So remember the, um, the fragment uh, crystallizable uh, receptors on phagocytes promotes phagocytosis. So remember, if we have the structure of the antibody right here, this is the FC region right here, this section right here. That That's the FC region, okay? So that can interact with some sort of phagocytic cell so say it's a neutrophil or something or or let's use a t cell because uh, that's what you would usually be binding to this and they will have an fc receptor here and they will actually come out and just bind that receptor and then they will phagocytose whatever this is bound to because this antibody will be bound to an antigen right the variable region will bind to an antigen what an antigen is is just usually some sort of peptide it could also be other types of molecules but usually it's a peptide that it binds to from either a fragment of a virus or uh, a part of a bacterial uh, protein, something that might be in your body that could be bad, and then this will eat it, right? So it could be bound to an entire bacteria just because of what surface uh, protein the bacteria is expressing. This antibody is specific to that protein, so it's going to bind to it, and it's kind of like, think about, think about the FC region being exposed here is like candy, okay? So candy, it's like a candy coating on the bacteria. So you'll have a bunch of these antibodies bound to this bacteria, and this guy here goes, oh, well, I'm gonna stop eating garbage and debris for a little bit, and I'm gonna go eat this, you know, chocolate sprinkle donut over here, because that looks tasty because of all these different antibodies here. So think about it like that. That's what opsonization is. It makes bacteria or whatever it's bound to really tasty for these phagocytic cells, right? Or maybe I should draw it like the Pac-Man. Okay. Next, you have complement activation. Number two. Now, what pathway would antibodies activate? Remember, the only pathway that uses the adaptive immune system is... The classical pathway, right? So the classical pathway, it activates the classical pathway and uses antibody-mediated activation of complement, which is responsible for the inactivation or removal or the killing of pathogens, once again. So antibody or complement usually ends up with the MAC attack or promoting phagocytosis. Next, we have antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity. So I am going to abbreviate that ADCC. So think like ACDC, ADCC, antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity. So the IgG molecule will act as a receptor to enable recognition and killing of target cells by natural killer cells that have SC receptors, right? So we have an IgG here, and then you have a natural killer cell, which is part of the innate immune system. But they're expressing, I'll do this in a different color, CD16, which is the receptor that can bind to the FC region of an antibody, which is bound to our little bacteria here. This is our bacterial cell. I meant to do this in a different color. This is our bacterial cell and it's all tasty because of this FC receptor region from the antibody bound to it. Okay, so next, I'll keep the same color here. You have transcytosis. This is the passage of antibodies across epithelial layers, which delivers certain classes of antibody. Um, usually it's IgA and to the mu mucosal surfaces. Okay, and the next one is induction of mast cell degranulation. 
I'm going to use that color to use the light blue. Okay, so mast cell degranulation, so granule killing, right? Because granules have um, uh, enzymes in them that can that can lyse cell membranes and kill different cells. So that is the function of aminoglobulins. That is what they do. Next video, I'm going to talk about the different isoforms of aminoglobulins, so IgG, IgE, IgD, IgM, and IgA.